In Toronto, Canada, ringmaster Scott McClellan takes the stage. For Scott, whose stage name is Nikolai Diablo, shocking a willing audience is a full-time profession. While others might spend their time toiling in offices, Scott eats razor blades, drinks boiling water, and hammers nails up his nose. We brought to the public something that was sorely needed in our plastic, humdrum, yuppieized world. In Carnival Diablo, Vanessa Neal keeps alive a long and perilous tradition. So many people before me have died on stage sword swallowing. And that's what the audience is buying, the very real danger that these performers will seriously injure themselves or even die right before their very eyes. There's a morbid sense of curiosity that draws the audiences in constantly because we are taking our life into our own hands. And I think that's one of the reasons people come, because if they can't take the risk themselves, at least they can witness it. In the world of extreme acts, few can rival Tim Cridlin. His stage name is Zamora the Torture King. His game, self-mutilation. And skewers going through the arms, exit wounds, entrance. His cheeks are permanently scarred from shoving hundreds of skewers through them. Tim's fascination with pushing his body to the limit began at age 10 with a book about strange performers through history. Fact is, I'm just kind of emulating from the past. In fact, that's pretty much what I, what I specialize in, uh, kind of replicating these things that are um, completely lost in a way. I swallow those light bulbs. One of Slowly Tim's most me. popular acts is go. eating a light bulb. You want to see a bit mouth a little more than I can chew. And I got a hammer over here. Guess there's no turning back. The highlight of Tim's act is when he slides a razor-sharp skewer all the way through his arm. I've kind of linked up my mind and body in a way that if I, I choose not to feel pain, I can, I can overcome that. I can actually lower my blood pressure. So that's one of the reasons it doesn't bleed as much as you'd think it would. No blood, no pain, ladies and gentlemen, that is mind over matter. While some people can't bear to watch, many others just can't look away. And that mix of horror and fascination is keeping the sideshow alive in the 21st century.